Hello friends, in this video lecture we are going to discuss reactive power flow and voltage collapse. In this lecture we will understand the problem of the voltage collapse related to the problem of reactive power flow. So let us begin. <music> So friends, from our previous uh, lectures, we understood what is voltage stability, what is voltage collapse and what is voltage instability. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the voltage collapse problem caused by the problem in the reactive power flow. So friends, in practical power system there comes certain situation where the system will experience problem with the reactive power flow okay so this problem it leads to voltage collapse okay Makes sense here that voltage it is more sensitive to reactive power. Okay, so whenever you will have the problem with the flow of the reactive power, definitely there will be uh, the problem with the voltage stability for that system. Okay, now in the power system, let us discuss some situation where we can experience the problem with the reactive power flow okay so the very first problem we can have here in the long transmission line so friends what is the problem in the long transmission line suppose if the long transmission line if we don't uh, have the control over this long transmission line okay suppose this is the long transmission line okay and on this transmission line if suppose if we are not going to provide any compensation if we are not going to provide any control of the reactive power then what will happen the receiving end buses okay at the receiving end buses we will experience the problem with the voltage okay now this problem is different for different loading condition when we are not putting any load that is no load condition Okay, in that case, what we will experience is that, suppose this is the sending and voltage and this is the receiving and voltage, your receiving and voltage, it becomes greater than sending and voltage. For the long transmission line under no load condition or this situation we can also experience in light load condition. Okay, and this uh, phenomena is the uh, popularly known as Ferranti effect okay so what can we do for this case uh, the better way is to provide the compensation uh, for this transmission line so as to avoid this Ferranti effect okay again as said uh, it depends on the different loading condition so we discuss for no load and light load condition suppose another loading is that heavy loading condition For heavy loading condition, we will experience that the receiving and voltage will now get less than, it will now become smaller than sending and voltage. See, ideally what we are expecting is that this, this ratio should be maintained as one. What it means, the receiving and voltage and sending and voltage should have the both same value. Okay but for heavy loading condition we are experiencing this problem that the receiving and voltage is getting depressed as compared to the sending and voltage okay so this problem again we can control or we can overcome with the help of the compensation of the transmission line okay so such a problem if suppose if you are not going to have any control on such a long transmission line then such a problem may lead to the problem with the reactive power flow and ultimately it can lead to the voltage collapse now the second situation where we can have this problem is that 
radial transmission line it will be in case of radial transmission line okay what is the meaning of radial means a uh, connection of one after another okay uh, that is nothing but the radial network basically uh, the distribution network what we have is a radial type of the network okay uh, we have two types of the interconnection one is the interconnected one and another is the radial connection okay so what happened uh, in power system the parallel transmission lines they are composed of the radial network okay so suppose if on one of the line and on one of the line if suppose there is a, a problem in one of the ehv line okay how comes this ehv line uh, first of all try to understand that the parallel ehv lines they are composed of radial line or radial network okay now we suppose if in this network if we lose any of the ehv line okay let me write here loss of any ehv line what it will cause it will cause an enhancement it will cause an enhancement of reactance of the line okay now because of this what happened the increase in because of this what is going to happen the increase in reactive power supply by the lines okay for the given voltage drop okay the increase in the reactive power supply by the lines for the given voltage drop is going to be less than the increase in reactive power demand by the load for the same voltage drop okay as we are not able to supply as per the requirement then uh, that leads to the problem of the uh, flow in, flow of the reactive power uh, power and ultimately it may cause the voltage collapse okay now the third situation where we can have the problem of the reactive power flow it is shortage of local reactive power shortage of local reactive power okay see what happens uh, there comes a situation in the power system where a disorganized outage or the maintenance schedule will cause a shortage of the reactive power okay a shortage of the local reactive power okay if in and if in that case if we try to bring the reactive power from the long line uh, ehv lines okay then what will happen uh, this process uh, we may not be successful okay firstly why we are having the shortage of the local reactive power it is because of an disorganized outage and the maintenance schedule okay so firstly this disorganized uh, outage and the maintenance schedule is causing the local reactive power flow problem okay but uh, we need to supply the reactive power okay at that end so one thing what we can think of is uh, to export the power uh, through the long length ehv line okay but this may not be successful okay why it may not be successful because if we try to uh, export the power over that long length ehv line then what it can happen the bulk system can suffer a considerable voltage drop in that case so that can be the problem related to the voltage stability in that case 
okay so these are the three uh, situations where we can have the problem with the reactive power flow and that problem can lead to the voltage collapse thank you very much